All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the WSI Western Star 4964 Heavy Haul Tractor in 150th scale. This model was recently re-released by WSI. The original release only came in a silver truck or it came with the Mammut set. Um, and the new release, you can get it in three different colors. You can get it in black, as you see here. You can get it in red or you can get it in white. Uh, so let's start off the review here. Uh, so the first thing you can see right here is the Western Star name is etched out in the exhaust cover. And you do have some etching out right here as well, um, just on your exhaust cover as well. Now the mirrors do come glued onto the model, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about losing them or having them fall out. Um, I personally don't like to put mirrors on my models just for that reason. Uh, but it's nice to see that these are glued on, so I don't have to worry about uh, putting them on or having them fall out. You do have a nice chrome air cleaner right there. I think you have a nice um, Western Star decal right there in your hood. Coming to the top, you can see you got some amber beacons right there. Uh, they are clear with like a little amber insert in the center. And I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there is a little W on the air horn, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I didn't notice it at first until I looked at the model more in depth and I saw that there. You got a couple running lights there. You got a nice visor right there. And the model does have the razor sharp um, aerials right here. Now, so you got to be careful when grabbing the model as you don't want to poke yourself and have a painful experience. So coming to the front of the model, you can see there's a Western Star logo right there. And if I can move the camera down here, you do have some nice headlights, some, some turn signal indicators right there, and then you do have a nice push bar. And then you do have a little pintle hitch for a, um, a draw bar. So if you were pushing like an SPMT unit or something like that, uh, you could hook up to right there. And you do got some nice Western Star mud flaps right there. Coming to the side of the model, you could see you got notch steering, which is nice. Uh, and there are some springs on there as well. Uh, so you got some simulated suspension. You got a little tiny step right there. And then you do have some steps on the fuel tank, uh, which I like a lot. I wish we'd get more trucks with fuel tanks that had steps on it because um, quite a few companies around here and all across the U.S., some of them have trucks that have um, fuel tanks instead of like steps with battery box covers. Uh, they have uh, fuel tanks with steps on them, which they're really nice. I like, the, I like the fuel tanks with steps a lot. And then coming over here, you got some more steps right here. I'm not sure if this is a toolbox or a storage bin right here. Uh, but it is nice diamond plate, which is nice. And you got another little storage compartment right here. A couple more steps right there to get onto the deck. Uh, right here is your sleeper. Uh, this is like a simulated window, I would be guessing, on the sleeper, uh, which is nice. It's painted silver. And then you got some chains in between your uh, mud flaps right there. And there's a mud flap right there and right here. And your mud flaps, uh, they do have a W on there for the Western Star. Coming to the back of the model. You got a nice black toolbox. Uh, it's your headache rack, uh, which is nice. You do have a couple beacons under there. As you can see right there, you got a nice, um, would be your like uh, brake lights or running lights. And then you do got some nice like working lights right here. Or I'm sure you could have them on as you're running as well. And then you can see right here, you got a nice oversized load sign. Uh, I'll show you the features of that in a little bit. Uh, this is all etched out right here, which is nice. It's just some black painted mesh. Unlike the C500 where it had the chrome, like a piece of chrome uh, mesh, this is all just black mesh, uh, which I like a lot better. And then the fifth wheel, it can accept sword, any sword trailer that you have. Uh, you just got to be careful with it, as I've said in previous in the previous review. Uh, to me, it feels like a cheaper version of the uh, sword fifth wheel, uh, but it will lock in and it does move up and down, as you can see right there. And it does make the locking noise. You do have some nice diamond plated um, mud flaps or fenders. Uh, and then you do have the axles and they are painted black as well. Coming to the rear of the model, you can see right here, you got some more simulated um, braking lights. And then you do have a tow hitch right here. So you can also put a draw bar in there. Comes with a little pin to stick in so you can secure the draw bar. Uh, and this side is basically the same as the other side. The doors do open on the model. As you can see right here, they open and the mechanism is pretty well, pretty well designed. Uh, there's, there's no, they don't stick or anything. It's just a very smooth mechanism. Uh, both of the doors do open, uh, which is nice. 
and then you can see a nice grill right there. The hood does open on the model, and it does, it has no problem opening. Opens to about there, which is nice, and you can see that there is a nice detailed, uh, what appears to be a Caterpillar engine, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure if you can, what engines would come on this truck, uh, but this one seems to have a Caterpillar engine, and everything's modeled very nicely. Uh, you got pipes and stuff running to your radiator, and pipes that run to your air cleaners, which are nice as well. And we can zoom out here, and I'll show you some of the some of the functions. I'll show you the oversized load sign that does work. Uh, you got to be careful with this, as the cylinders are very stiff, and the headache rack to me feels like a uh, kind of a fragile piece. So you don't want to force it up. That's about as high as I can get my oversized load sign to go, uh, and it folds right back down. You just got to be careful with it. You don't want to break it, as the model is fairly expensive. It just slots down like that. Um, when you do get the model, you do get a ballast box right here. It's kind of the same as the uh, C500. It slots into the uh, fifth wheel, so you just position it and just kind of sits sits on the fifth wheel like that. It's kind of hard to um, get the the little tab to lock in uh, since the bedding or the um, ballast box covers um, the majority of the fifth wheel. Uh, but you do get a ballast box, which is nice. And like I said. You get a couple draw bars with the model, uh, which is nice. You get this one right here, and then you get this one. Uh, they do have tiny little pins that you slide into the little eyelet that's drilled out there, which is nice. So you can have one, you know, on display, and then put the other one in your your ballast box. Then you do get a bag of parts. You get some chain to secure your ballast box, and then you get an extra tire just to stick in the ballast box. And then you do get a couple lights to put on the back for when you're hauling something you put the lights um they would slide into place right here uh but there's a very um it's a very loose fit so if you're going to be moving the model around i wouldn't recommend putting them on as you would quite easily lose them um but that's just about it for this model uh currently uh these run for 170 dollars you can get them like i said in black red or white um, i'd recommend picking one up if you're in the market for one sooner rather than later because they say they're, they're limited edition, uh, so they might sell out, and you're going to have to hunt for them on eBay or some retailers that are going to have them for some crazy prices. Uh, but the model does retail for $170 as of the time of this video. Uh, that's not shipped. It's a nice model. I'd recommend picking one up if you're looking for a heavy haul tractor, uh, and you just don't want the Kenworth C500, and you want something different. I'd recommend picking one of these up, but that's just about it for this review. Uh, so if you have any questions, any more questions that I didn't get to about the model, feel free to ask. Uh, if you'd like to follow my social media, I have a bunch of pictures posted on my Instagram about this, and I will be posting some to the Facebook page here in the next couple of days. Uh, so if you want to check those out, both links are in the description, and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.